Hi guys, this is Small Couponer. These are the Walgreens deals breakdown for the week of July 3rd through July 9th, 2022. And these are all digital and printable coupon deals. So let's get started. Please share, like, comment, and subscribe. It will really help me out and it's free to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So make sure that you choose all so that you receive all of the notifications from my channel. So this video was made on June 30th, 2002. It is before the new week, but it is a preview of the new week based on a weekly ad, the coupons that we already have, and a rebates that we already have. So make sure to check the tax in store and walgreens.com just to make sure that these items are included in the deals and check walgreens.com and coupons.com for any new coupons and promotions. So YouTube has a new feature, it's called Super Thanks. So underneath every video, there will be a heart and a thanks next to it. When you click on that, um, it will show up, you know, $2, $5. Basically, you can tip me. This is a tipping system. So it's totally optional, but it is another way to support my channel. So I just wanna say that, you know, thank you for all of your support. So thanks to Amber Strange for letting me know. So you can actually do spin deals on the app, but not on the website. I know this is weird, but on the app, it is counting like if you were to do it in-store. So it counts the spin threshold after IVCs, but before manufacturer coupons. If you do it on the website, which is walgreens.com on a computer, it is counting it after IVCs and manufacture coupons. So I don't know why that is, but do your spin deals on the app for those that you are getting Walgreens cash back in store and online. So be very careful because some Walgreens cash deals are for ship to store or ship to home only. For example, those deals where you are supposed to get register rewards in store, you get Walgreens cash back online, you have to do them through ship to store or ship to home to get those Walgreens cash. If it's originally a Walgreens cash deal in store, then it's okay to do it through the app and you will get those Walgreens cash back, if that makes sense. So I did receive a digital spin booster towards the end of the week, which is Friday for next week, which is um, July 3rd through July 9th. It is a spin 20, get $5 Walgreens cash. So you can use this in store, but on the app, your mileage may vary. Um, in store or on the app, it should count the $20 after store coupons, but before manufacturer coupons. But on the app, your mileage may vary. Do not use the website because on a website, it is counting the 20 after all store coupons and manufacturer coupons. So I recommend that you try to do it in store. But on the app, sometimes it will work and sometimes it will not work. So your mileage may vary, but I would recommend doing it in store to be the safest. So um, it has to be 20 after all store coupons and the forms of store coupons are IVCs, threshold boosters, and register rewards that have store coupon on the top. And I will provide scenarios throughout the whole video using this booster. For intermediate or advanced couponers, I do have an ultimate scenario where you can use a lot of Walgreens cash to pay on a spin deal. It's a low out of pocket and getting a ton of stuff, so stay tuned. So I did make an update because of the register rewards. So couponing online is different from couponing in store. So coupons apply differently online. So if you have a threshold booster or a spin booster, they apply after IVCs and manufacturer coupons online. In store, it applies after IVCs, but before manufacturer coupons. You can only use a digital spin booster if you are couponing online. In store, you can use either or both digital and or paper spin booster. Boosters. There are no more registry words if you do curbside pickup. It started on the 15th. Your mileage may vary. Any ad is says registry rewards deals are in store only. And there is a $10 minimum for curbside pickup. It is before manufacturer coupons, but after IVCs. So just a reminder, every Sunday, make sure that you clip your manufacturer digital coupons, check coupons.com app and coupons.com for new manufacturer coupons. Even if you are not couponing on Sunday, I recommend that you at least save the coupons because some coupons, they do have a limit. So they will appear on Sunday and disappear the next day. And more videos will be uploaded based on the new manufacturer coupons and rebates that we get. And make sure that you are subscribed and turn on all notifications so that you receive all of the notifications from this channel. 
Weekly ads differ from region to region. Most deals are similar, but a few deals may differ, and store pricing may vary from store to store. I will not be going over spend deals because I do have a video link in the description box below explaining each of these bullet points with examples. So if you are a beginner, I highly recommend that you watch that video, just the beginning portion of it. The only thing that Walgreens change is the point system into Walgreens cash. Everything else is still the same as long as you do these deals or spend deals in store because they did change it online. So do the spin deals in store so that you can use the equation in all of these rules. And buy deals will also be explained at the beginning of the video, link in the description box below. Or you can just screenshot this for your reference. So let's get started with all of the deals. Household deals. So the Scott, these are going to be $5. So what you can do is get, get one of these Scott Comfort Plus for $5. There is a 75 cent printable coupon from scottbrand.com if we don't get any digitals, but make sure to check for digitals first because sometimes we do get them for the Scott products. If not, then go to scottbrand.com. And I think the value of the coupon may vary from account, account to account, but for me, I have 75 cents off and a dollar and 25 cents off IVC. So IVCs are Walgreens store coupons in the monthly savings booklet. They are located at the front of the store near the weekly ads. So those rectangular booklets in the picture right there are a booklet of, you know, that contains the IVCs or which are Walgreens store coupons. Or you can clip it from the app. Anything that has my Walgreens behind a coupon is an IVC or Walgreens store coupon. So you'll pay $3. You can pay this with Walgreens cash or a register reward. If you are using a register reward, make sure that you grab a filler so that, you know, the register reward will attach to the filler because you already have a manufacturer coupon attaching to this item. Or you can get two of these for $10, use two of the 75 cents off printables, and then the IVC will take off $125 for each one. And you only need the cashier to scan a barcode from the booklet once. Or if you have this, you know, clipped to your account, it should take off the $125 for each item after they hit total. So it will be a total of $250 off for both of them. You'll pay $6 for two or $3 each. You can pay this with Walgreens cash or a register reward, but if you are using a register reward, make sure that you grab a filler because you already have a manufacturer coupon attaching to each item. So I just want to note, register rewards sometimes affect manufactured digitals not coming off. So you can use a register rewards without problems if you are using paper or printable manufacturer coupons exclusively in a transaction without any manufactured digitals. But you may need a filler if you have more manufactured coupons than items, especially if you are using a register rewards that say manufacturer coupon on the top. Um, you can use register rewards on items without any manufacturer coupons to lower your out of pocket. And not all register rewards are manufactured coupons. Some of them with a store coupon on the top. Do not use these on spend deals because they act like IVCs, which are store coupons. But if you are using it in a buy deal and you already have a coupon attaching to each item, you can use this without a filler because this is a store coupon. But for the ones that say manufacturer coupon, you can use these on spend deals because they are manufacturer coupons but you may need a filler if you have more manufactured coupons than items. So the Ajax Fabuloso or Suavatel, these are going to be $2.49. So usually when we get this particular um, promotion and if there's no Walgreens cashback, it, we usually get like a $1 off digital. So look out for that. You'll pay $1.49, you can pay this with Walgreens cash. If we don't get this coupon, you can always skip the deal. So these are some no manufacturer coupons needed. They are great fillers and great ways to use your register rewards. But I would recommend to check for any digitals for the Kleenex, Scott, or Cottonelle paper products. These are going to be BOGO 50% off. The Complete Home Aluminum Foil, these are two for $2. So I have been purchasing these and these are not bad. Um, the Ajax Laundry Care, these are BOGO free. The Wexford, these are the fo I'm not sure if these are dividers or folders, but these are five for a dollar. If you get one, it'll be 29 cents each, so still a great filler. And the Arm & Hammer, these are really cheap. They are $1.99 on sale. 
So again, check for manufactured digital and printables for any of these. So it could be a better deal. Food deals. So if you can't find the jumbo snacks, it's part of this BOGO free promotion. Um, I'm assuming it may be BOGO free again. So these are $4.49. So since they are BOGO free, two of them will be $4.49. You can pay this with Walgreens cash or a registry reward. There is a $2 I bought a rebate for this and my referral code is VPCFRDP. It is also in the description box below if you're interested. If you are new to Ibotta, you will get a $10 bonus after your first redemption. It is a limit of five for each of these. So five, limit of five for the Apple Jacks and limit of five for the Fruit Loops. So you'll get a total of $4 back for two and a final cost is 49 cents for two or 24 cents each. So you can pay this with a Walgreens cash or a register reward, especially, you know, some of you have like a ton of register rewards that have been glitching. Turn that register reward into real money because Ibotta, you get PayPal money. Or you could get the cereals. So some of the newer flavor cereals, we have like $1 I bought a rebate, especially like the Fruit Loose with marshmallows. So if you can find those, those are $4.29. So you buy two of those for $4.29 because they are BOGO free. Use the one-off two printable from Kellogg'sFamilyRewards.com. So if you are new, you have to sign up, but it is free so that you can print out those printable coupons. You'll pay $3.29. You can pay this with Walgreens cash or a register reward, um, you technically don't need a filler because the one-off two technically attaches to one of the cereal boxes, but if you wanna be safe, then grab a cheap filler. So there is a $1 I bought a rebate for the newer flavors. It is a limit of five, especially for example, the Fruit Loose or Marshmallows. So you get a total of $2 back for two and the final cost is $1.29 for two or 64 cents each. So the Blue Diamond Almonds, these are going to be BOGO free. So you'll buy two of them for $5.99 because they are $5.99 each, but since they are BOGO free, two of them will be $5.99. Use this $1.25 off digital. So Walgreens does not take manufacturer coupons for the free item. So you can only use one manufacturer coupon here. You'll pay $4.74, you can pay this with Walgreens cash, and then you'll submit your receipt to coupons.com app to get the other $1.25 back because you cannot use you know a coupon for the free item but you can redeem it from coupons.com app I have done this before and they have credit me for the free item because I technically did not use a coupon for the other item so the final cost will be $349 for two or $174 each so the planters nuts, these are $4.99. Um, you will use the $2 off digital. I think we got another one. So you can either use this one that expires on the 14th or the newer one. The newer one we got um, today, which is July 1st. So you'll pay $2.99. You can pay this with Walgreens cash. So the smart order, these are two for $3.50. So you will use the $1.50 off two digital, pay $2 for two or $1 each. You can pay this with Walgreens cash. So the six pack Pepsi mini cans, these are two for $5. You can buy four of these for $10. Use the three or four digital. If you still have it on your account, you'll pay $7 for four or $1.75 each. You can pay this with Walgreens cash. Or you can get the six pe Pepsi bottles. These are two for six, so you can get four of these for $12. Use the three or four digital, pay $9 for four or $2.25 each. You can pay this with Walgreens cash. So these are some no manufacturer coupons needed. They are great fillers and great way to use your register rewards. So the Arizona teas, they are three for $2. The Lindsay Olives, they are bogo free. And Ellipse and Brisk, these are 99 cents. Beauty slash personal care deals. So all of these are part of the same deal. They are all deal of the week and they are all buy two, get a $4 register reward. So make sure that you do them in separate transactions so that you get a register rewards back each time because you, if you do it in all in one transaction, you're only get you're only gonna get one register rewards back. So do them separately so you get a register rewards back each time. And also, if you are planning to use a register rewards to pay, make sure that you use a register rewards from a different deal so that you get another one back. Because if you use a register rewards from the same deal, you will not get another one back. 
So I do have all of this explained at the beginning of the video, link in the description box below. If you are a beginner, I highly recommend that you watch that video. You only need to watch the beginning portion of it. Um, it is a pretty short, you know, portion. So this is the first scenario. The Crest or Earl B, these are $3. So buy two of these for $6. Use the three off to digital. If you still have it, pay $3. You can pay this with Walgreens cash, get back $4 register reward, and the final cost is free and a dollar moneymaker. We also have a ton of other digitals that are attaching to this you know, these particular um, Oracle products, like the 5 of 3. So if you already use the 3 of 2, you can use the 5 of 3. I think it will come out free if you use the 5 of 3. Scenario 2. So the Pantene Hair Care, these range from $4 to $7. So when you buy two, you get a $4 register reward. So if you get the ones that are $4, you buy three of these for $12. I'm assuming we may get like a 5 of 3 digital. Make sure to check for that. If not, skip the deal. If we do get it, you'll pay $7. You can pay this with Walgreens Cash, get back $4 register reward, and the final cost is $3 for two or $1.50 each. Scenario 3. So the Pampers or Ninjamas, these are two for 20. So you will use the spin 20, get $5 Walgreens cash, digital booster, and the three off to digital. So you'll pay $17. You can pay, you have to pay all of this out of pocket because when you are using a spin booster and you're getting Walgreens cash back, you have to follow this equation in red. So any spin deals and you're getting Walgreens cash back, follow the equation in red. If it's a spin deal and you're getting a register rewards back, then and it doesn't matter how you pay. But if it's a spin deal and you're getting Walgreens cash back, you have to follow this equation in red. So you have $3 in manufacturer coupons that I'm assuming that we may get for the Pampers. So make sure to look out for it. If not, you can always skip the deal. If we do get the digital, then you would do it this way. And then if you pay the $17 out of pocket, so the money out of pocket should be counted before taxes because um, the taxes are not part of the spend total, if that makes sense. It is not counting towards the spend total. You have to count the out of pocket costs before taxes. Don't overpay in Walgreens cash. And then um, assuming you are not using any manufacturer registry rewards because we all have different ones, your spend total is exactly 20. So um, you'll get back a $4 register reward from the deal and $5 Walgreens cash from the booster for spending 20 using this equation in red. So you can always adjust the equation based on the manufacturer coupon value and the manufacturer registers that rewards that you have and the money out of pocket. So whatever you do, make sure that it equals up to 20, if that makes sense. So the final cost will be $8 for two of them or $4 each. So if you have a paper spin booster, go ahead and combine it with this digital one to get extra Walgreens cash back because you're paying out of pocket anyways. So I just want to note, you can combine a paper booster with a digital booster to get extra Walgreens cash back. And you only need to spend the highest threshold of one of them to get all of your Walgreens cash back. So this is scenario three. You could get two of the Ninjamas for $20. Use the spend 20, get $5 Walgreens cash. And for the Ninjamas, um, I, I think we're getting a four off to digital based on our past um, you know, coupon from the past month. It was a four off two. So I'm assuming we may get another four off two for the Ninjamas. So you'll pay $16 and you have to pay all of this out of pocket. Get back a $4 register reward from the deal $5 Walgreens cash for spending 20 using this equation in red from the booster and your final cost is $7 for two or $3.50 each. So the Colgate Dental Care, these are $3.99. When you buy two, you get $4 Walgreens cash. So if I buy two of these for $7.98, I'm assuming we may get a four off two digital. You'll pay $3.98. You can pay this with Walgreens cash, get back $4 Walgreens cash, and your final cost will be free. If we don't get this digital, you can always pass. So this is a separate Colgate deal. So these are $2.99. When you buy two, you get $2 Walgreens cash. So buy two of these for $5.98, you will use the four off two digital if it attaches. If not, then skip the deal. You'll pay $1.98, you can pay this with Walgreens cash, get back $2 Walgreens cash, and your final cost will be free. 
So the Crest Oral-B or Burt's Bee Dental Care, these are buy two, get $5 register reward, and these are $4 each. You'll buy three of these for $12, use the 6 of 3 digital, pay $6, you can pay this with Walgreens cash, get back $5 register reward, and the final cost is $1 for three or 33 cents each. So for the Lesterine, these are spin 10, get $5 Walgreens cash. So you can buy two of the 500 milliliter mouthwash for $5.69. So two of them will be $11.38. So if the pricing is more expensive in store, you can always ask them if they can do an online price match. Some stores will do it and some stores won't, but it doesn't hurt to ask. So you will use the $1 off digital and $1 off printable from coupons.com. You'll pay $9.38. You can pay $1 of it with Walgreens cash cash and the 838 plus tax out of pocket. So since this is a spin deal and you're getting Walgreens cash back, you must follow this equation in red. So $2 in manufacturer coupons and if you pay the 838 out of pocket, your spin total is 1038. So you'll get back $5 Walgreens cash and a final cost is 438 for 2 or 219 each. So um, the Crest or Earl B Dental Care, so this is like the whitening products. These are spent 50, get $15 Walgreens cash. So you can buy two of the Crest whitening kicks. These are $29.99 if you can um, find these. So two of them will be $50, $59.98. Use the spin 20, get $5 Walgreens cash, $15 off digital, and $12 off digital. You'll pay $32.98. You can pay $5 of it with Walgreens cash and a $27.98 plus tax out of pocket. So um, using the equation in red, you have $27 in manufacturer coupons. If you paid a $27.98 out of pocket, your spend total is $54.98. The reason why you cannot pay more in Walgreens cash is because the next level of redemption is $10. So there are levels of redemption for Walgreens cash. And if you pay with $10 Walgreens cash, your money out of pocket will be lower. So, you know, your spend threshold will be less than 50. So that's why you can only use five so that your spend threshold is at least 50 or a bit over. If, if it's, you know, even two cents less, you know, you will, th you, you will not get your Walgreens cash back from, um, you know, this deal or the boost. Well, you will get it back for the booster, but not the deal. So you'll get back $15 Walgreens cash for spending 50 from the deal and $5 Walgreens cash from the booster for spending 20. So you only need to spend 50 in order to get everything back because, you know, 50 is the highest threshold. So the final cost is $12.98 for two or $6.49 each. So I just want to note, you can only um, use Walgreens Cash as a partial payment if you use a digital spin booster only. You cannot use Walgreens Cash to pay at all if you use a paper spin booster or if you are combining the paper and the digital. That is if you are not using contactless payment. So if you are using contactless payment, you can use a, a paper booster and you can use Walgreens Cash to pay. But make sure that um, you are using, you know, the forms of contactless payment are your watch, your smartwatch, your smartphone, or your card. You just tap your card, basically. And make sure that you scan the, you know, your Walgreens card number from the app instead of putting in your phone number. So the can two, um, normally when we have this on sale, we get a four off to digital coupon. I'm not sure if we're getting a new one, but we already have one on our account from previous weeks. But um, make sure to check to see if we get a new one, because if we do, normally this two ounce um, Shea Moisture Coconut Curling Cream is always, you know, the four off to always work on this product. So you buy two of these for $4, use the four off to digital, and it will be free. So um, that is if your store, you know, carries this product. So the Bulldog, these are $7.49. You'll buy two of these for $14.98. Use the five off two digital and the $3 off IVC. So again, you know, it'll take off $3 for each one, as I already mentioned in the Scott deal. So it'll be $6 off for two. So you'll pay $3.98 for two or $1.99 each. You can pay this with Walgreens cash. 
So for this deal, the Olay or Old Spice bath here, when you buy three, you get a $5 register reward. And they are also on sale for $6.49. You can buy five of these for $32.45. Use the spend 20, get $5 Walgreens cash, and this 10 off 5 digital. Make sure to check for more digitals because sometimes we get like a 5 off 3, so that way you don't have to get five. So check for the new digitals. You'll pay $22.45. You can pay $10 of it with Walgreens cash and pay the $12.45 plus tax out of pocket. You'll get back $5 register reward from the deal, $5 Walgreens cash from the booster for spending $20 using this equation in red, and the final cost is $12.45 for $5 or $2.49 each. So this L'Oreal Cosmetics, these are spend 20, get $7 register reward. So you can buy one mascara for $10.99 and one translucent powder for $9.99. Total comes to $20.98. Use the spend 20, get $5 Walgreens cash, $2.50 off L'Oreal eye product, and $2 off L'Oreal face product. Check for more digitals. So you'll pay $16.48 plus tax all out of pocket, get back $7 register reward from the deal, and $5 Walgreens cash for spending 20 using this equation in red. So on Ibotta, there's $2 back for the L'Oreal Mascara and $2 back for the L'Oreal Face Cosmetics. So your final cost is $0.48 cents for 2 or $0.24 cents each. So for these deals, I will wait to see if we get any high volume manufactured digitals. If not, skip the deal. If we do get them, then I'll update you guys on Sunday. And same goes for these deals. Check for any high value manufactured digitals. And for the Jergens, we do have I, I, bought, I bought a rebase for that if you are interested and if we get high value coupons for it. If not, then skip the deal. If we do, um, you know, you can use a spin booster with it. And then after the I bought a rebate, it could be pretty cheap. Health deals. So um, the Kotex, these are two for five. If you, if you can find these, you will use the two, four of two digital, pay a dollar. You can pay this with Walgreens cash. On Shopkick, there's 295 kicks uh, for the liners or pads. So that is equivalent to 118. And the final cost is free and an 18 cent money maker. So I wanna note, make sure that you check to see if it's still there before you purchase this item. So the copy, these are $9.99. We have a $2 off digital and a $3 off IBC. You'll pay $4.99. You can pay this with Walgreens cash. Submit your receipt to Ibotta to get $5 back and your final cost will be free. So the Azo, these are $11.49. You will use the $5 off digital and the $5 off IBC. You'll pay $1.49. You can pay this with Walgreens cash. Ultimate scenario. So you'll buy two of the Crescent Earl B for $6, three of the Crescent Earl B for $12. So the first one is, you know, $3 each, and the second one is $4 each, and they are part of separate deals. Two of the Colgate for $7.98, the ones are $3.99 each, and two of the Kotex for $5, and your total is $30.98. Use the spend 20, get $5 Walgreens cash, three off two Crescent Earl B, six off three Crescent Earl B, four off to Colgate that I assume we may be getting. If not, then replace it with something else like Cantu and four off to Kotex. So your total coupons will be $17. You'll pay $13.98. You can pay $10 of it with Walgreens cash and a $3.98 plus tax out of pocket. So following this equation in red, you have $17 in manufactured coupons. If you pay the $3.98 out of pocket, your spend total is $20.98. So you'll get back a total of $19.18. So $5 Walgreens cash for spending 20 um, from the booster using that equation in red, $4 register reward from the Crescent Earl B, the one from the deal that costs, you know, $3 each. And you know, the, it's buy two, get $4 register reward. And then the Crescent Earl B deal um, that costs $4 each. So that's $5 register rewards back. $4 Walgreens cash from that Colgate for buying two from the deal that is $3.99 each. And then 295 kicks for the U by Kotex from Shopkick for the liners or pads, which is equivalent to $1.18 back because you could redeem a gift card from Shopkick, which is, you know, 500 kicks, which is equivalent to a $2 gift card. So your final cost is free and a $5.20 profit. And that is it for me. Thanks for watching. Bye.